Magnets are one of the coolest objects you can ever play with. They bring magic, entertainment, and science all in a neatly wrapped package. But sometimes merely watching them attract each other can get boring. What you need is a little inspiration, which is why you've come across this video. Get ready to be amazed by these 10 awesome magnet tricks you should try. Amazing. Number 10. Newton's Nightmare Here's a quick trick that would have annoyed Newton even more than an errant apple landing on his head. Prepare a non-magnetic metal tube, like aluminum, perforated on the sides, a non-magnetic metal ball, and a strong magnetic ball capable of sliding down the tube. Slide the non-magnetic ball down the tube first. Then, switch the ball with the magnetic one and proceed to then demonstrate the magnet falling into the tube. Notice the difference? The magnetic ball slid down considerably slower than the non-magnetic ball. It being a magnet kind of gives away the answer, but the effect is actually a lot more complex. What you have just witnessed is a simple application of Faraday's law. What happens is, current is induced within the pipe when a magnetic field is introduced. Combined with Lenz's law, the magnet is essentially pulled back by an attractive force behind it and pushed upward by a repelling force in front of it. This interacts with gravity, slowing the magnet ball down, thus creating the effect of it gently descending. The trick is both an easy way to demonstrate the capabilities of magnets and an effective way to explain the basics of magnetism versus gravity. Number 9. Ferrofluid Ink If Newton's nightmare is a bit too easy for you, then this monster magnet fluid might be the crazy concoction you need. The ingredients are simple. Take some laser jet toner from your old printer and vegetable oil from the kitchen. That's it. Mix them well until you get a smooth but not too thick consistency. Now we're ready to play. Place the liquid either in a glass container or on a clear plastic surface with your magnet below it. You would instantly notice that it reacts to the magnetic field. It's interesting on its own, but if you have a much stronger magnet, you can even make it form some weird spikes all around the magnet's field of attraction. The explanation is pretty straightforward. Your laser jet toner is actually made of microscopic particles of magnetite, or iron oxide. As it can be directly affected by magnetic fields, it simply follows wherever the field goes, with the vegetable oil acting as a flowing medium. In fact, magnetite's magnetic properties are essentially the very reason why it's used in printers. Number 8. The Terminator Putty Sure, magnetic fluids can be fun on their own, but moving ink is just the tip of the iceberg. For something a bit wilder, we have Terminator Putty. This is a thick gray goo that sucks up any magnetic material like some kind of semi-sentient alien entity. Instead of being a slave to the magnet it follows, it defiantly engulfs any type of lodestone to forever be surrounded by its metallic underbelly. The principle for Terminator putty is exactly the same. Microscopic magnetite suspended in a fluid, with the viscosity of the fluid amped up several notches. It's slower, more dramatic, and perhaps even more horrific. It doesn't take strong neodymium magnets to set up the action either. All you need is any relatively good magnet and a level of patience that is inversely proportional to its magnetic field strength. Number 7. Homemade Maglev This trick demonstrates the magnificent powers of its larger counterpart. For this, you'll need a nice good battery, several strong button magnets of the same diameter as the battery, and a very long winding coil of copper wire. First, attach the button magnets on each side of the battery. Then, place the long copper coil on a flat surface like a tunnel track. Prepare to insert the entire battery up to the tip of the other magnet, and there it goes! You have just created the simplest maglev setup. Connect the ends of the copper coil, and now you have a complete track. Remember the attractive and repulsion forces acting on the magnet in the Newton's Nightmare earlier? The principle here is more or less the same, but this time the current and the magnetic forces acting upon both your battery train and copper wire produce a net force forward, allowing your tiny maglev to keep on looping around your coiled magnet track. That is, of course, so long as the battery stayed juiced enough to keep it going. Number 6. Magnet versus CRT Crazy things sometimes involve risk. While tiny maglevs certainly are a technical wonder for your average household trick, nothing can beat the primal intensity of playing with monstrous magnetic fields. Specifically, magnets that can literally break screens. For this setup, we'll need a large neodymium magnet and any old CRT monitor. The trick? Simply hold the heavy magnet and move it towards the screen. See the swirly and trippy rainbow designs going all over the screen? CRTs generally use an electron gun in order to fire the individual bits of the image that shows on screen. 
Due to this use of electrons, the screen is highly susceptible to disruptions caused by a magnetic field. In fact, older monitor screen have before become permanently magnetized due to being in close proximity with a strong magnet over a period of time. Those trippy lines stay as they are, and the TV is forever damaged unless a degausser is used to demagnetize the screen. If you happen to bring even stronger and larger magnets toward the screen, there is a good chance that you'll physically affect the entire monitor itself, possibly even breaking the screen for good. Number 5. Magnetic Matches Magnets most evidently affect metals, particularly iron or nickel, but magnetism, as we have demonstrated with the CRT monitor earlier, can be manipulated whenever there are electrons that can be aligned and moved around. To prove this, here's a trick that requires a few sets of safety matches, as well as our ever-trusty magnet. Light the first set of matches, with only the phosphorus part burned, and check if they will be attracted to the magnet. Not much of a reaction, right? Okay, now try to light the second set, this time letting the match burn at least halfway through the stick part. Then try to put the magnet near it again. Surprised? There are actually several explanations, even several scenarios depending on the type of match. But for this particular trick, the key is that very red tip. Safety matches typically have trace amounts of iron oxides, which enriches its red color. When it is burned by itself, the scattered particles are too weak to give a reaction. However, when burned along with the wood, carbon is produced and the iron oxides are reduced to metallic bits of iron through the oxidizing reaction of the burning match. The end result is a material that can now be directly affected by magnets. Number 4. Weight Crunching with Magnets Electromagnetism is stronger than gravity. This is a no-brainer considering that gravity is the weakest of all the fundamental forces. In fact, electromagnetism is at least 10 to the power of 36 times stronger than gravity. That's right, it's a 1 followed by 36 zeros. As such, magnets can easily lift heavy things. How is it even a crazy or impressive trick, you may ask? Well, neodymium magnets are the answer, as these things are extremely strong. To put things into perspective, a typical 8mm by 1mm neodymium magnet can lift almost as much as half a kilogram of magnetically attracted material. This means that a relatively large neodymium block can probably carry your entire lifting weights rack, probably even including the bench seat. Though do be careful, a single misstep and the magnet can literally crush your arms and limbs raw. Number 3. Magnetic Fruits Magnets are typically associated with metals or metallic things, or things that at least act like metals in terms of conductivity. But fruits? Now that's a challenge. In reality though, you can actually control certain fruits using magnets. To demonstrate this, you need two pieces of the same fruit tied on a piece of string, hanging on both ends of a stick. Adjust the apparatus until it's almost perfectly still. Then whip out your magnet and move it towards one of the fruits. If that fruit can be affected by magnets, you'll notice it moving ever so slightly away from the magnet. The effect you just witnessed here is known as diamagnetism. Think of your average iron and nickel type magnetism, but far weaker and always producing a repulsive force. Instead of our previous tricks involving metallic walls propelling the magnets forward or slowing its motion, we make the material itself move. The easiest fruits to test this with would be apples and grapes. Same procedure as we mentioned, but perhaps this time you may want to get a bit more creative and hide the magnet from your audience's view. Number 2. Melting Metal with Magnets Magnets don't just involve natural lodestones, as electromagnets are also fair game for our tricks. If you want something more hardcore, yet still fundamentally simple, then perhaps melting metals with magnets may be your boiling hot cup of tea. This rather dangerous trick requires two things, a sturdy metal coil and a powerful electric current. Pick a ferromagnetic metal that is easy enough to melt, but still requires a decent temperature. Place it on top of the electromagnet and watch it float. As time passes by, the metal will eventually accumulate heat. It will take on a dangerous glow, and a few moments later, it will splat down on your apparatus as a melted mess. That, my friends, is a basic application of the Biot-Savart law in electrodynamics. Basically, the alternating magnetic fields caused by the current in the metal coil gradually deposit heat onto the suspended metal. The current then fluctuates back and forth around the coil, accumulating even more heat, which then results in the shiny puddle that you now see. The reaction is actually kind of slow, at least from a party trick perspective, so do be warned. It can be accelerated with a stronger electromagnet, but it will also be much more dangerous to handle. Before I reveal the most outrageous example in this list, 
I'd like to remind you to subscribe to Be Amazed. We upload amazing fact-filled videos every day, so don't miss out on learning some amazing new information. Also, hit that bell icon for notifications on more amazing fact-filled videos. Number 1. Magnetic Blood Blood in magnets does kind of make sense. Blood technically contains iron from hemoglobin after all, and from what we saw with our ferrofluid, magnetized liquids can do some pretty weird things. Is it enough to manipulate blood with magnets? The craziest trick we can do is, of course, to prepare those gigantic neodymium magnets and subject a sample of pig's blood to a motion-sensitive setup with it. You can put it above water using a platform, or let it hang in the air with a thinner setup of strings and sticks like our magnetic fruits. Remember, the apparatus has to be sensitive enough so that any reaction can be readily seen by our audience. In reality, iron isn't actually the explanation as to why blood should be affected by magnets. Like apples and grapes, the hemoglobin in blood can be diamagnetic when oxygenated, although it can also be paramagnetic when deoxygenated. In any case, no matter what blood sample you bring, magnets will always weakly interact with it in some way, but maybe not that way. Please remember that neodymium magnets and other similar magnets of considerable size and magnetic strength should always be handled with care. Which trick one was your favorite, and will you be trying any of them? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.